Oh my gosh, that bell has got to go. What in the world? <laughs> Ditto Ortega. Hello everyone. A lot of you seemed really, really interested in me breeding more genetic animals. Whoops. <laughs> so today we are gonna do just that. I'm gonna be breeding bunnies and I'm gonna be trying for a specific bunny, a giant floppy eared, possibly, oh, everyone just woke up. <laughs> uh, a giant floppy eared, definitely. I haven't decided if I wanna go for the giant floofy Angora yet or not. I don't know, we'll just have to see kind of how the genes go. Before we get started though, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I would absolutely love to have you. Okay, let's breed some bunnies. Okay, so today I'm gonna have a helper, well, for the first day of breeding, uh, Sharklu here. So thank you, Sharklu, for being here to assist me. We're gonna start off with um, these two bunnies. This is Mouse and Tortilla, and they're gonna be our first pair. Tortilla was the very first floppy that I know of on the server. So all of these floppy genes originate from him. <laughs> okay, they're bred. So now let's come on out here and we're going to find some more couples. So this is our floppy section. Um, all of these, like I said, stemmed from Tortilla. <laughs> so this looks like a nice female. We can take her. She's got the Angora hair, obviously. And let's see, who else? We can go with this boy. It's cute. All right, now how to get out of here without releasing everyone? It's gonna be kind of tricky. I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, and oh my god. <laughs> they all just got out. Oh no. Now we're having to chase rabbits everywhere. Oh, it's like the chickens, but slightly worse. <laughs> Okay, we've got them put back. Thank you so much, Sharklu. All right. So now trying to get out again without having the same thing happen. And this time I'm bringing four. Okay, we only lost one. That's fine. He can take care of that. <laughs> All right, thank you for opening the gate. Okay. Little damage done. Perfect. I'm gonna put them in this holding area while I figure out who I want to go where. The female, this is a male. And a male. Okay, let's grab this male and put him here. That'll do nicely. And we'll find you a partner in just a sec. Let's see, um, what was this again? Oh yeah, male. Just checked that, okay. We can take this female and partner it with the one we just put in that first pen. All right, you will be a good partner for this guy. Get them bread. Make sure I spam it. Sometimes they're kind of hungry. All right, perfect. And don't you dare sneak out. I, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> All right, so who's next? Got this little boy and this girl. So we'll take this girl inside, get her in here, and you with no name will go in here. And I think I'll go ahead and breed that orange and black rabbit to this boy here. These others do not belong, so they've gotta go. Sorry, bunnies. And come here, little one. I think I'm gonna breed this little guy with the orange and black rabbit instead. It's gonna be difficult to get the size we want with how small these bunnies are. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting to see how it plays out. That should be nice. Did it take? I don't know, cause it's kind of stuck in the fence. <laughs> okay, and here is your partner. All right, everyone is bred, so now we just gotta wait and see what babies we get. Okay, some time has passed. We're gonna see if we've had any babies. I don't think, oh my gosh. Oh, she was sitting on them. <laughs> They're so small. They're like tiny little, oh, 
I just shut him in the gate. I am so sorry. Come here. They're so small. Look at this. Aren't they cute? Oh, now they're awake. They're going crazy. <laughs> they're so tiny. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe we'll check over here. <gasps> We've got more. And again, they're super small and going really fast. I do not want to go in there. <laughs> I do not want to release them. And here, let's see how you're doing. Oh, getting pretty close. Not too long to wait now. I'm excited to see the colors that come out of this pairing. And let's check over here. Oh, she's about to have the babies any minute. And here we go. <laughs> so we've got two orange and black and two white. So even if we're not seeing the size, at least we're getting this floppy jean inside our babies. Hopefully the size will come later. <laughs> oh my gosh. And one just escaped. Okay. Dark Lou is trying very, very hard to make this work. Okay, the last one, finally. Oh, what a mess. <laughs> Way worse than the chickens, for sure. They're so small, they're hard to click. Okay, let's check on these babies. And I guess while I'm here, Tortilla, you can go back to the hutch. Nope, oh, not again. Okay, that's all you, Shark Lou. <laughs> all right, let's get him back in here. Whoops. Okay, there you go. Thank you for your services. Have a great day. I see you and you're caught you're back in there. <laughs> oh, these rabbits. Okay, let's breed buttons and this little girl or boy. And bam, power of editing. Here's their babies. So it looks like we've got all floppies, which I mean, to be expected. The both parents are. So now I want to breed buttons to this giant rabbit so that hopefully we can start getting some of that size we need. This will start introducing the floppy gene and the giant gene, which is exactly what we're looking for. So this litter should be really nice for us. And it looks like it took... Oh so yeah, I'm excited about this one. It'd give us some nice babies with some good genes. At least let's hope so. Okay, it's the next day, so let's go see how our first batches of babies have matured, if they're mature. Oh my gosh. Oh, I like this one so much. Let's check these guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, so cute. So we have a couple of bigger ones here. That's good. We're, we're slowly getting bigger bunnies. Oh my gosh, the white on this one's face is super cute. Okay, let's check. Whoops, getting stuck. Oh, by the way, I remodeled this area, as you can see. It was so cramped before and just didn't really work. And it also gives me a few more rooms for breeding. They're all kind of the same color. Oh, this one has white ears. That's cute. Needs to be a male. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, so we've got a, a decent sized male, decent sized female. But the color, why is it brown? <laughs> All right, let's go look over here. Hello, babies. Oh, this one's cute. I like the markings. Got the, the white collar and the white face. Wait, wait, how old is it? 44, wait, was this the dad? Did I not even notice that yesterday? His color is so cute. Yeah, because that's one of the babies. And it's a boy, and it's orange. Okay, that's good. How did I not notice his color yesterday? It's really pretty. <laughs> I don't even know my own rabbits. It's so bad. And then here. Oh, these are the ones I was excited for. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck. <gasps> okay, so we've got three normal ears and one floppy. Oh, that's really cute. I love the color. It's like kind of pale. I wonder if it's going to be fluffy and it is a girl. Okay, well, you know, that is a good start because obviously uh, dad is really big. 
So this will be a nice breeder. We'll definitely keep this one. All right. Um, now I've got to decide who to keep <laughs> and who needs to just kind of like go away. Hate to say that. Let's see. Do we have a big floppy female yet? This baby is going to have to go. I'm so sorry. Um, I'll do it gently. Unfortunately, this is part of the process. You just, you can't keep them all because you'll end up, you know, with so many animals. So unfortunately, but like I said, I'll do it gently. I'll just keep, you know, the bunnies in the bag and do it that way. <laughs> it's sad. I don't like it either, but that's the life of a breeder. Okay, I'm sitting here like, how am I going to get organized? What is the best method to do this? Again, this bunny does not need to stick around. I'm so sorry. Yeah, these are definitely going to have longer hair. These two. Or these three, actually. So you're definitely going to breed. You're a female. Let's name this giant... You're sleeping, so you're not going to escape. Haha. -ha. <laughs> so we'll name this giant male. Oops. So <laughs> that's big, normal ear, orange black male. Maybe I'll remember that. And this is mom. So the first letter is the size. The second letter is the ear. Okay. So this is that one, those parents offspring. She's, I think she's Angora too. I mean, she might be the same size as mom. She's just not as fluffy. Okay. So small, floppy ear with the A gene, the Angora gene, and then she's a female. So now we can breed her and we'll remember who her babies are. And then I want to keep this female. Okay, these guys should produce some decent babies for us if we can get a bigger male or bigger female. This small floppy female, I think would be a good pairing with, where are you? The male, yeah, this male. He should give us some floppy babies with hopefully the Angora gene. And I hope I'm guess, or I hope I'm guessing, I hope I'm right in saying that they have the gene with this paler color. I mean, I'm not really super trying for the Angora. It would be nice. I'm mostly looking for a large floppy. But still, if we could get some of those genes up in the bigger rabbits, that would be nice too. Okay, so these two look like a good pairing. Let's go ahead and breed these two. Make sure you're not too hungry. Okay, I think they're bred. So that should be a nice pairing. Maybe that, oh, you know what? Oh, that's a female. I guess I could breed her with him too. Oh, so I could pair him with the female Angora. Come here. Come this way. <laughs> we'll put him over here. And I have to name him. Oh my gosh, I can't forget to name him. That's a male. Okay. Go ahead and breed him with her. The sacker. Gonna make a day to wake these bunnies up. Okay. All right, those two are bred. Got to wait on these guys. Wait, no, 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 not them. These guys. But I don't think I'm going to use you or you. You. I think a male or female. It's a female and a female. I think I'm going to keep this female because she looks bigger. Get rid of you. I don't think I ever mentioned... This rabbit, JD's head. <laughs> it's called that because um, they were saying it looks like the top of my head. Can't really show it, but because of my headband and then the color of my hair, um, like, oh my gosh, it looks like JD's head. So that's what I named the rabbit. <laughs> it's funny. And then I would breed these two. I just, I don't like the lion, the, the lion thing. I mean, these two bunnies are massive, but, and it's got the Angora gene. 
I don't know. I might have to. So now we've just got these two guys left in this pin from the first batch. So how to introduce bigger jeans while keeping the floppy ears. It just gets so complicated. These babies should do really well. I think I'm going to take him out. Okay, we need to get this rabbit out of here before I confuse myself. Because these two are bred and these two are bred. So what should we do with you? The question. We could breed her, but with who? Have a bigger male in here. You a boy? Yes. One's also a boy. I think I'll breed her with him to introduce some of this uh, color that's like gray color. All right, so you can go there and then I'll call you small, floppy, non-A. All right. So we've got three pins eating. And we got to work on this number one pin. These two, honestly, I know I said I wanted to keep this one, but I've got the color down there. So we're just going to sack them. And now for this batch, the two males, two females, and they're almost exactly the same. <laughs> All right, so one female is going to go and we'll get rid of one of the males. Maybe I should bring Lorelei Chonky and definitely this guy, Fish Legs. <laughs> this was a present. Try and breed him with a female floppy, maybe. Keep you in there. We should breed her again. She's pretty big. And we still have her. So she needs a floppy male. So we'll bring her in here. And let's find her a floppy male. We could use this guy. Or should we just do just let's do the plain white? Bring him in here. Okay. Make it daytime. Whoops. You don't want that. <laughs> oh yeah. Is it just me, or is she fluffier than she was? She's definitely fluffier than she was. I think. <laughs> like, I'm definitely sure. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so now we just need a partner for fish legs here. I guess I could breed him with her. That'd probably be better, because she's bigger, I think. Yeah, I think I will breed her with her. Or him, I mean. <laughs> oh my gosh, the size difference is crazy. They're going to have those lion things, though. I don't want the lion things. I don't know. I guess we'll see. We'll see how many babies end up with the lion's mane. Lion head bunnies in real life are so cute. I'm just not a big fan of them in the game. All the pixels. This is a lot of pairings. Hopefully, we'll get some decent offspring. I guess we could find one more pairing for this boy. So do we have a girl though? Do we have a girl? I guess just for, f wait, is this, that would be her brother. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Oh my gosh, I love this bunny. I'm going to give her a collar. Let's give her a pretty diamond bell collar. Here we go. Hey, you're so pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys wanted me to call one of my chickens, um, what's the name? We will call this bunny Jenna Ortega instead of a chicken. And I'm just going to keep her because I just fell in love with her. Jenna Ortega, there we go. You are my pet now. <laughs> You're going to go in with the main buddy squad. Oh my gosh, that bell might have to go. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let these guys... Oh wait, we still need a girl for you. Who are we gonna pair? Oh, let's get Lorelei Chonky. Come here, Lorelei. This will be a good pairing. Okay, there we go. We're gonna have so many little bunnies in a bit. It's gonna be ridiculous. Okay, now that everyone's bred, I am going to wait. And when they are, wait a minute, how did you already have your babies? That was super fast. Oh my gosh, they're just all bunched together. 
Um, okay, I don't want them to get hurt, and I don't want to open the gate. That would be horrible. Come here, babies. Oh, they're like, they're stuck. Why did you give birth in the wall? That was a terrible idea. It looks like we've got some nice colors. It's just kind of hard to tell. I'm gonna have to open the gate, aren't I? <sighs> All right. There they go. <laughs> oh goodness, they're so tiny still. Did we get any floppies at all? Those two are not floppy. That's not floppy. Okay, we got one floppy. Hey, I mean, that's better than nothing, but it's still so tiny. And these guys will have the floppy teen. Oh, that sucks. I was totally hoping for more floppy. I can hold on to her and just see how big she gets. But I don't think she's going to be bigger than small. Did anyone else give birth? No. Make sure that this pregnancy took. Yes. Okay, perfect. And, oh, you're about to pop any second. What about you? Nope. Okay. So this one is due any time. Oh. Oh, we got some bigger babies. And they're floppy. So right off the bat, maybe when they're babies, it's the best time to separate them, knowing that they're going to be too, too tiny. Grab this one, this one. And we'll just put all these small babies over here. And let's go check out these guys before they grow. Um, Honestly, I think they're all the same size. So it doesn't really matter. So yeah, these guys are going to be too tiny for my breeding program. I'll check back in when we have more little ones. Okay, so I was checking to see why this pregnancy hasn't progressed. Like, what is going on? Not pregnant. Well, this is not a male. <laughs> it's a female. No wonder it didn't work. So we're going to need a different pairing for this female. <laughs> Well, uh, maybe we will let some of these other babies grow and see what we get and pair her with them first. Maybe we'll wait and see what these two's babies, these two's, these guys, these bunnies, whatever, what their babies look like. How are you guys doing? Pregnancy is progressing. We will not get any floppies at all out of these two. I already know that but they will have the recessive gene at that point. So maybe if their baby's big enough and we get a male, we can pair them up. Oh, we've got these guys again. I went ahead and rebred them to try for more floppy ears. No, wait, that wasn't them. They're all super tiny again, but they're all floppy. What's the point of me breeding these guys? I don't remember now because they're not going to get any bigger. Anytime we're gonna find out if we're gonna have a bunch of lion heads. Oh no, I read I rebred these guys. That's that's who it was. So yeah, these this batch I think was kind of pointless. So I think I'm not even gonna mess with keeping these babies. And probably shouldn't even worry about breeding these two again either. Although this color is really cute. I like this pattern. It's pretty. Sorry guys, you're just too small. I mean these guys are looking bigger. There's still zero days. Oh, okay, we've got some babies. Let's see. There's one lion. Two lion. So, okay, we got 50-50 split. A male and a male. That's what we needed, right? To breed with her? Yes. Okay, so that works. And we already expected to not have any floppy ears, so that's not a surprise. We'll see how they grow. And how's Lorelai doing? Oh, she is not quite. Don't be in the wall, please. We don't need any more of that mess. Okay, some of these are clearly getting bigger. And then these two are pregnant again. So I think we're gonna have to wait to see how these grow. To see if we get the size we want. Male, is this whole batch male? Oh my gosh, every single baby is a male. So I'm just gonna move I'm going to have way too many rabbits in this pen. I went ahead and bred them again to try and get at least one female. 
it's really weird that they didn't have a single female. And then we'll compare sizes as they grow. And keep the biggest ones. Because we know at least every single one of these will have the floppy gene. If they don't have floppy ears. So that's a good start. And come on, Lorelei. Wait, did you have... Oh! Oh, it literally just happened. <laughs> oh my gosh. One, two, three, four. F they're big though. I think they're a lot bigger. Oh. Oh my gosh. She just had so many babies. Wow. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is there ten? Look at this color. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, you guys had pretty. Oh. I wonder if these are Angora too, and that's why the color is like that. All right, how many floppies did we get? Oh, you're... Oh, this is an Angora too. You guys are freaking out. I'm freaking out. Okay. So, hold on. We didn't... Get, oh, wait. No, no. Okay. We were not expecting any floppies. That's right. But it looks like we've got some decent sized babies with Angora with the gene. So this is really good. Okay, this one's not Angora. See the color difference, how it's kind of gray and black? This is just black. Really pretty rabbits though. <laughs> Although I don't like the lion thing. I don't like it. Ugh. That, okay. Do we have any that don't have the lion's mane? We've got one right here and it's Angora. Okay, perfect. So this is definitely gonna be a keeper. And this one, and this one. So we've got a few. I think I'm gonna breed these two again. This seems like a really good pairing for color and Angora. It's just unfortunate about the the main thing. <laughs> Let's grab some of these babies. These are gonna be really good for our breeding program. I'm so happy. We're gonna keep you. We're gonna keep you for sure. Definitely you. And there was one more, I think. Oh, it's this one. I'm going crazy. Nope. Oh gosh. Don't wanna do that. Eh, I'm gonna catch you. Okay, wrong one. There we go. So the rest of these all have the lion's mane. Oh my gosh, that bell has got to go. What in the world? Where are you? <laughs> Get Ortega. Here, let me get a different collar with no bell. It was a mistake. We'll just do this one. Whew. Goodness gracious. Imagine putting bells on all the rabbits. They're constantly jumping on the wall. Oh, that would be rough. Okay, I'm super excited to see how these guys grow. We got a lot of this color. Female. Okay, so we've got two males, two females. This is good. This is really good. Anyone else have any children? Doesn't look like it, okay. I think we're making some progress. It looks bigger to me. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I'm sorry, it's just not what I'm wanting. But I am gonna breed these two again. Grow babies, grow. Oh, we've got babies, okay. We've got two floppies. Oh, look, we've got one of the, oh my gosh. I think this might be an Angora here. Yes, this is definitely an Angora, orange Angora. Okay, female. So we're keeping her, already know it. And I think the rest of these guys, we are not going to keep. They look pretty small. We'll wait on it a bit. Yeah, these are getting nice and big. Awesome. Okay, I'll do a little bit more and see how our babies grow up. We should definitely have some new babies by now. Looks like, oh, look how big those guys are growing up. That's good, we're getting some size. Any other babies? What? Oh my gosh. You guys, look at this. They're huge! What the heck? I was not expecting that. And it's fluffy. <gasps> this male is like... Wow. 
How old? Two days? Did I already accomplish what I was hoping to accomplish? <laughs> I've got the giant floppy. And it looks like with Angora, this male is, I mean, I want some color, but wow, that's freaking awesome. Okay. Who's your mom and dad? Small floppy male and small floppy with the... This is your dad? <laughs> Why is he so big? Jeez, that's crazy. Okay. Oh, we've got an Angora here. Only one lion head this time. And they're all Angoras, it looks like. Well, that's obvious because both parents are Angora. Okay. Awesome. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy with how big this male turned out. And this male's big too. He doesn't have the Angora gene, but he's still really big. Okay, everyone should be pretty well grown by now. Ooh, that's a pretty bunny. One month old. I don't know how long it takes for their Angora hair to completely mature. Really cute. Ooh, it's so little though. Okay, so our big boy over here. Oh, he's even bigger. Oh my gosh. He's so cool. Let's bring him out. This is going to be a main stud for sure. Nice. That is just a giant floof. Wow. I do like the bunnies too that don't have the Angora hair just because you can tell more that they're, I don't know, floppy eared. <laughs> and I, I'm thinking that's the biggest he's gonna get. I mean, we got pretty lucky considering we started from, you know, guys that small. I definitely have to breed this big boy though. But let's find an appropriate female. I think that one, this was his litter. Or what's a, what's a bunch of rabbits called? Is it a litter? I don't even know. As long as it's got floppy jeans, we're good. This girl would be a good partner. She should give us some floppies. Let's wake them up and get them bred. Okay, just doing a checkup on all the pairings. And oh, we've got babies. Let's see. <gasps> Definitely got some floppies. They had a lot of children. <laughs> That's a lot of babies. Looks like we've got at least four giants. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, th or only two are floppies of the giants. And, okay, two female giants, which is actually good because we have this male over here. So I did more breeding and I did get some bigger Angora floppies, but I also got some kind of a medium haired floppy, which I've decided is my absolute favorite. It's so cute. I'm going to show you in a second before I end the video. But here is the result of our breeding for giant floppy Angora bunnies. Look at this. <laughs> so cute. I've got a few different colors here. I noticed that only breeding the two most fluffy doesn't make the most fluffy babies. It's weird. But yeah, this video was already way longer than I expected, so I didn't continue. And then over here is the one female that I have with the floppy ears. She's super cute. But I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about with the two rabbits that are kind of a medium hair with floppy ears. Okay, so she actually grew a little bit more hair. It was a bit shorter than this, but still I really like how it's not too big so you can still see her cute ears. This is the boy and the girl. I really like this and the color. I love her color. Her white face is so pretty. So I think that these are the type of floppies that I'm going to be working for or working towards and breeding. I really like them. I think they're super cute. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed watching me breed these bunnies. Like I said, it was quite a bit longer than I expected, but there was a lot of footage. <laughs> it takes a long time to breed up to whatever you're wanting to breed to. So if you enjoyed this video, please let me know down in the comments. And if you want to see more genetic breeding, let me know that too. 
Thank you guys so much. And until next time, bye.